know, and everything that I do is consideration of the return on investment to our producers. I want to help them increase their bottom line as much as possible. And so that's what I aim all my research at is trying to find ways for them to, to maximize their yield potential. You know, we're not making yield with, with insecticide applications or fungicide. We don't make yield with that. We maintain yield. And so we need to do everything. You know, if we, if we got a, a population out there, by all means, let's spray it. But if we don't, then let's keep our money in our pocket and, and keep that application from going out on the field. You know, I'm an IPM guy, Integrated Pest Management, and you know, we, we don't hold to making automatic applications very well. What we prefer is that growers make applications when they reach a treatment level, you know, a, a threshold of, of a particular insect to make that application, not, not do it in, in anticipation of having a problem because that's where we spend money that we don't necessarily need to, to spend. And so we want to we want to make applications with of insecticides when there's a need for it rather than just making an automatic application. So, you know, when I make an application for, for an insecticide, I've got to have a population out there, for me, a, a population out there where I'm controlling that population to maintain the yield potential for our producers. I don't want to make applications where they don't get a return on their investment. So it's a, it, there's a fine line in there. And we want to we want to be sensitive to the growers that are trying to maximize their you know the guys that are shooting for 100 plus bushels. We need to be we need to be sensitive to their needs as much as we do for the average grower. We went to grower fields across the state of Arkansas, from northeast Arkansas all the way down to southeast Arkansas, and we put out we made our applications ourselves on their on their fields we looked at bottom line, that's all we're looking at, and tried to find that, that happy medium. But we had several treatments in there. We had a, an automatic application of, of Prevathon or Besiege. Uh, we had an automatic application of a fungicide, then the two together, and then another treatment where we made uh, the insecticide fungicide treatment and then followed it up with another fungicide treatment. And in some cases, we actually did see a, a significant uh, yield increase with some of the fungicide applications. Rarely saw anything with the, with the diamide, with the Prevathon or Besiege, when we sprayed and didn't need to. You know, when you take all that data over three years on all these growers and multiple locations across the state, basically what it said was, you know, if you make a Prevathon application when you don't have worms, caterpillars in the field, uh, you're just throwing that money away. You're just throwing it away. There's no value. It's not increasing yield. You know, there's discussion a lot of times by, by some people in the industry that if you control sub-economic thresholds of, of pests that you can actually increase yield. Well, that, that's not what we saw here. However, like I said, uh, where we made automatic uh, fungicide applications, we did increase yield. And, you know, we have resistance issues that are beginning to pop up and just throwing uh, applications out there based on a, on a crop phenology or a date is not necessarily in the best interest of, of maintaining the longevity and the usefulness of these pesticides. So uh, the agronomy guys uh, will tell you that one of, the, one of the keys to making high yields is, is plant early. That also helps us avoid a lot of our pests uh, complex, particularly worms and stink bugs and stuff like that, that hit the hit the the crop late in the season. You know, I, I would say that 75% of our insecticide applications are made on 25 to 30% of our bean crop because those are the late planted beans. There may be some some potential to that to that approach with the automatic applications on later beans, but certainly not on the beans where we're trying to maximize our yield and planting early. Mm -hmm.